I wrote this, um, if she could speak from the grave, this is, I think, what she would say. The first half is that, and the second half is what we, we could maybe do something about. I could be just another girl walking down the street, full of life with a constant heartbeat, oblivious to dangers looking far and near from strangers or those who could be friendly and dear. For no fault of mine, my dignity is shattered. My wings are chopped off, I was once a free bird. To satisfy desires, I feel like an excuse. You just can't use me and throw me away as you choose. What's worse is the after effects of the crime, which torment me if I decide not to end my life. It's horrid and shameful when my story is not believed. I've relived the horror, why is it so hard for you to see? Why am I not given justice that I rightfully deserve? The path of truth now becomes a twisted curve. I now cautiously walk home quickly, the trip's short and sad. A penknife and pepper spray adding to the weight of my bag. A crime remains a crime no matter what you do. Others face the consequence of the crime committed by you. Not one thinks about the victim, the silence, or the sighs. This isn't just a deed, it's murder in disguise. My mother now warns me to be aware of such instances. My friends and I discuss the same. Our laughter now silences. It used to be an emotional story, now it's a political one. Fear lines my heart now that a person like him has won. Why is it so damn easy for men to worry about their careers and get queasy, but not listen and believe a survivor? about the soul-crushing injustice done to her. I think it's time to stop listening to the crazy, to tell my story even if it carves a hole in me. There's power in numbers, so I've heard. Someday, maybe the line against justice will be blurred. The second piece is um, everyone has a voice, so shut up and listen. And I think that it revolves around a lot of issues that we face in the world today, such as equality, not enough, not enough equality, um, homophobia, gun rights, violence, all of that. But I think that at the end of the day, everyone should have rights and they should have the right to be heard. There has to be something wrong with this earth when I think that my body has no worth because someone walking by me in near sight hasn't asked why I'm wearing a dress late at night. When I actually feel left out, there's not much that I can do for the silent army of people screaming, me too. Society taught me that to feel like a girl, I had to be violated in a way that makes me hurl. It makes me cry sometimes how love finds a way, but in status quo and rigidity, I see a bit in every day. Maybe our bodies look alike. We have the same anatomy. I couldn't care less, the world loves symmetry. Then he yells at us when we kiss. There has to be something wrong with this world where instead of wanting to live with the trees and the birds, a teenager would throw their life to the dirt. Instead of coming out, they want to use a gun. How hard is it to love your daughter or son? Build me a safe space, don't cage me behind a wall. Because today it might just be me, but others will stand tall. When those in power ensure that the rules are being bent, brewing fear is starting with the name of our president. Watch out because the oppressed will rise with posters and paintings and truth debating your lies, with tokens of equality and marching right out of school grounds. Not a symptom of mental illness, gun violence will gather a crowd. In a world tainted with hypocrisy and dumped in double standards, one that makes stories out of tennis players changing their shirts, I stand here today, I say, stand up and fight. If you say who you are, others just might. It's about time we realized everyone deserves rights, no matter their color, race, or sexual insight. Sometimes I want to spread love so bad it hurts. Someday I know together we may just break the curse. <laughs>